markets have been extremely volatile on the back of the fact that US CPI data came uh, not in line with market expectations of a rate cut. Under these circumstances, there are many voices within US Fed which are uh, recommending exercising of caution. And hence, the rate cut by US Fed seems to be getting postponed, at least for the time being. Under these circumstances, US markets have been a bit nervous after a sharp correction on Wednesday, Thursday, that is yesterday, it recovered a bit, but the nervousness continues. On the other hand, the oil prices have been inching upwards once again, whereas the metals, including gold, silver, have been hovering around all-time highs. Under the circumstances, Indian markets also, after the Thursday's holiday, have been taking cues from US market and op opened on Friday with correction. However, as far as Indian markets are concerned, we continue to believe that buying on dip will be the strategy for the markets and we will see recovery going forward in Indian markets. As long as oil doesn't really shoot uh, you know, across that 95 levels or some uh, somewhere around that, I think Indian markets will remain in a comfortable zone. The domestic indicators are absolutely fine. Of course, the markets will wait for the results, which will start coming from today evening with TCS coming with the numbers, which markets will be watching carefully. Also, the monsoon predictions, which have come to be normal, uh, looks good, but markets will continue watching that. We believe that as far as Indian markets are concerned, the Q4 numbers will guide stock-specific action in the market. Monsoon progress will definitely excite the FMCG and other consumer names. The infrastructure, construction, and related sectors will continue doing well. Cement have been our favorite for some time and continues to remain so. We believe that companies like Dalmia, Bharat, Ultratech have significant legs even from here. We also like some of the engineering and construction behemoths like Larsen and Tubro, which we believe has a long way to go and investors will do well to buy some of these stocks even at current level for long time hold. The looming general election remains a factor which the markets will monitor. However, with the market concluding uh, the return of the existing dispensation, the nervousness around that is limited. However, nearer the election, probably a bit of volatility uh, should be expected. The trajectory in the long term remains positive and short term volatility should be used as an opportunity to accumulate good quality stocks at lower valuations. Thank you.